Hello and welcome to today's video. Recently, uh, well over the last little while, I've been reviewing a few pens from Gravitas Pens. Uh, ben Walsh Design over there in Ireland doing his thing so beautifully. And uh, I was really glad to receive a little bundle of pens recently uh, for review some sort of more recent models and the one I'm looking at today is this This is the Gravitas pens. You can see the little Gravitas pens logo there. This is the Delrin. Now Delrin uh, is basically a very cool plastic uh, It's uses in uh, things like uh, in applications that require things like strength and uh, you know, a sort of a stiffness. Um, they're good for wet environments, like pumps and valves and things like that. Uh, and uh, because of that sort of, and it's a, it, basically, it's primarily an industrial material. Uh, but because of that, it actually means that uh, it has some really cool properties for fountain pens, which I'll get into in just a little bit. But this is the Delrin. It is made of Delrin. Uh, and uh, this is based on the Sentry model uh, from Gravitas Pens. I'll just uh, show you that as well. So this is the Sentry, this is the stainless steel uh, Sentry. So you can see it is um, very, very much modelled off that pen, just a different material, not the usual sort of uh, metal pens that uh, Ben has become very well known for. So let's talk about some parts and features of this pen uh, and then I'll do like size comparisons, writing sample and talk about some pros and cons. Okay. So, uh, the top of the pen has this lovely peaked uh, little finial there. The cap swells out slightly and then you get a little step down off the barrel which is slightly beveled uh, down onto the barrel of the pen. The barrel tapers down to another uh, lovely sort of peaked uh, end cap there. It is a uh, twist cap or screw cap and it comes off in two turns uh, and reveals some nice smooth threads. Once again, a nice sort of beveled uh, step down and then a really nice grip that sort of tapers flares and then a number six steel nib. It's Yovo nib and this one is a broad. Um, ben over there is working on uh, getting his logo on the nibs but uh, none of that, of course, affects the pen. And because it is a standard Yovo number six, one thing I will say is that Ben has checked the housings of all of these Yovo nibs. Uh, Yovo went through a bit of an issue, I think towards the end of 2021, where a lot of the uh, the housing was cracking. So Ben has actually made sure that all the pens that go out have perfect housing on them. Uh, he takes a lot of care in all the details of his pen. Um, there is an O-ring here at the end of the uh, the section there on the threads which really locks the cap down and that works for a couple of reasons firstly it means that the cap is secure secondly what that does is that it creates like a really well sealed chamber for the entire pen meaning that we get less chances of things like burping on the pen and leaks because this pen while being a standard international cartridge converter pen and it is provided with a converter there, uh, and would and also with actually you know a little bag of Pelican uh, Royal Blue uh, cartridges. It can also be eye dropped. Yes, there is a there is a stainless steel uh, grip section there. This is the stainless steel model of the Delrin, I should say. There is also there are other versions as well, uh, but Ben ensures that this pen is good for eyedroppering, a little bit of silicone grease on threads and things like that, and of course, another O-ring just there at the top of those threads, really locks it down and giving it a huge incapacity of five mils, which is just absolutely brilliant uh, because it is a huge incapacity and uh, with a pen like this, you're gonna be writing with it a lot because it is a really, really wonderful pen. So that sealed section there and then the seal on the cap provides, means that it stays as a sealed unit you know once it's done up uh so you are yeah less likely for atmospheric pressure differences within the uh the pen itself so another really interesting feature of the delrin and this goes for a number of his pens now is this grip section now if you look closely you might be able to see that it's got little lines on it they're kind of hard to see but you can hear that uh and you can see you know, that's the case. These little grooves up and down the section. Now, what they do is they're not 
there's not enough texture to them for you to really be able to feel that texture under your fingers. You can certainly feel it there, but you don't feel it like, say, on the Twisby ALR, which has those grooves, which are very pronounced. These aren't as pronounced. So in everyday writing, you don't notice the grooves under your finger, just when you move your finger, but not in this upward direction. Like, the way the grooves are cut is that it actually stops the grip being slippery. So as you push down the pen, I'm not sure how well this will be demonstrable in the video, there's like considerable drag down the section, but up the section, not at all. It's quite smooth. So it's just an interesting little thing that uh, Ben has included in the pen to make it a much more comfortable riding experience. Um, metal section, but not at all slippery. And because it's a nice size pen, of course, it uh, you know it's got a good section on it as well. Now the pen does post. Obviously there is no clip or anything on this pen, so it does have the capacity to roll around. It's not like um, I've got here the uh, the pocket pen from Gravitas Pens, which has that sort of beveled facet there, well not beveled, just a facet on the face there, which stops it from rolling around. This doesn't have that, uh, but I think, you know, like the a clip on this pen would actually really ruin uh, the line of the pen. But if you are a person who needs a clip on a pen, this may not be the pen for you, straight up. Just gonna say that. Um, but yeah, it does post. It posts relatively securely, and it's a very light cap. The Delrin material is actually very, very light, so the balance is actually pretty good. Most of the pen's weight is in this section here, which makes it for a very balanced and well-weighted writing experience in the hand. So time for a size comparison now, and what I wanted to show alongside was another Gravitas Pens uh, pen that I reviewed, which is the Entry. Now the Entry is was the original pen like this that uh, he then developed into the Sentry, which is its bigger brother. Um, but you can see, as you know, the Delrin is based off the Sentry, so you can see it's a bigger pen. If we put it alongside Alami Safari here, you see it's a little bit longer, just ever so slightly, uh, and the girth is quite good. So it's a it's a pretty decent sized pen. Uncapped, you see it's about the same length as the entry. It's a little bit longer now than the Lamy Safari. And of course, with that number six size nib, it gives you a really good length from the pages you're writing. When I reviewed the entry, one of the things I really loved about it was how deeply it posts. And it reminded me in some ways of things like the Lamy 2000 in that respect, making it a really wonderful everyday writer. Now, the Delrin is much bigger in the hand. Uh, and its length posted is longer. I tend to write with this pen unposted. I think it is a pretty good length in the hand. I think you'd be hard pressed to find a hand that that was too small for. Uh, and because of the size of this section and with smooth threads and all those kinds of things, you really don't need to post it. It fits very, very comfortably. So what are the dimensions of this pen? Well, it's 147 millimeters when it is posted, uh, capped, sorry. It is 140 millimeters when it is uncapped, so a really solid length. It's 167 when it is posted. So long pen, not too long or not doesn't feel unbalanced because as I said, most of the weight of this pen is actually down in the nib end here. The section right there in the middle is about 11 millimeters. So really solid size, good in the hand. The weight of the pen is 32 grams, 26 in the body and six in the cap. So as I said, small amount of the weight of the pen going on the back. Uh, but as I said, when you write with this un, unposted, it's very comfortable, it's very light, as all of that weight is really down here. Like, that is where the weight is. And that makes it a very, very comfortable pen to write with uh, because you feel the weight in your fingers as opposed to like pulling back or anything like that. And it really leads down onto the page and has a lot of very good balance when you write. So let's do a writing sample now with this pen. This is the Gravitas Pens. Delrin. As I said, based on the uh, Sentry model from Gravitas Pens. The uh, nib is a steel Yovo broad nib. And there are a range of nibs available. If you go onto the Gravitas Pens website, you can select your nib size. And as I said, as it is a standard number six, uh, there is, you could, there's a huge range of nibs you could get, uh, you know, and put in this pen. The ink I have it in it today is Sailor Blue Black. which um, is a really lovely ink, Blue Black being a absolute favorite of mine and this being one of my favorites of that. So let's do some writing. It 
So you can see it lays down a lovely line of ink. It is a standard Yovo broad nib. This is what you would expect. Ben doesn't let any shoddy nibs leave his studio though. So uh, we end up with a really good Really good solid writing experience. No flow issues, no starvation issues, no hard starts, nothing like that. Reverse writing is possible, but not ideal. And as you can see, it dries out quickly. It is a stiff nib, so do not flex it. Uh, and in terms of wetness, look, I have to say, like it's pretty good. It is a broad. It is gonna put down a decent amount of ink. Probably what I will do, uh, I, I really enjoy this nib, but I really, really enjoy this pen. And uh, so for everyday writing, I would normally use a medium or a fine nib. Uh, and I will probably swap this one out just, just because for sheer ease in my collection and, and wanting to write with it more and more and more. You can see this broad nib writes beautifully. As I said, Ben doesn't let shoddy nibs leave his studio. So what are the pros and cons of this pen? The only con I have is would be a personal one for some people, and that is that it doesn't have a clip or a roll stop. So it will kind of roll around a bit. Um, just something that a lot of pens don't have clips, so that this is just one of those. The pros are, the list goes on and on. The size of this pen, the weight, the balance, it's close to perfect in so many, so, so many ways. Um, I like that grip section, I like the shape and the size. I don't like, while this sort of, um, uh, you know, sort of textured grooves on the, on the grip section, I think is a, a great advantage. It's not something that like jumps out at me, but also it's not something you notice and that actually makes it a pro. Um, I really like this material. It is a strong plastic. It feels strong. It feels robust. It's well made. The attention to detail on this pen is beautiful. Um, you know, the, the industrial um, and precision of even things like the O-rings is just so well thought out. Ben has given so much thought into this pen. I love the simplistic, uh, uh, you know, sort of labeling of the pen. Uh, I like the fact that it doesn't come packaged in a huge box, you know, like, this is the this is what it comes with. It comes with this little like leatherette sort of sleeve. It's simple. It's got gravitas pens written there in the logo, and then this is gravitas pen in the traditional, um, you know, sort of uh, way of writing. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it's a simple, elegant pen, and I think it works really, really well. Now the price of this pen. Now this, like this, retails through Ben's website for ninety five euro which is roughly about 100, as I make this video, roughly about 105 US dollars and 145 Australian, which I actually think is a pretty decent price. We're not talking about a big company producing thousands and thousands and thousands of pens. This isn't Lamy, this isn't Pilot. This is a smaller operation. It's really just Ben, and he gets the pens manufactured at a really high standard down to nanomillimeters of precision. Um, so you're getting a well-made item. It does have a steel nib and it's just cartridge converter, but for me, both of those things are absolutely fine. I prefer cartridge converter and a good steel nib like this comes with is a blessing. I'd rather this than a, a semi-decent gold nib any day. So at 95 euro, I think it's a really good deal. I think the pen is a really beautiful pen. I think it writes well. I think it's classy and elegant. I think Ben is doing really wonderful things and I'm excited to see what he comes up with next. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video about the Gravitas Pens Delrin to be interesting and useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. And please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring your review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. A big, big thank you once again to uh, Ben Walsh there at Gravitas Pens for providing this and a couple of other pens for review. I am very, very grateful and it's always awesome to be looking at, uh, you know, the next wave of, of fountain pens. So thank you so much and thank you to you, my viewers. And uh, in the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.